Hello and welcome to my bioinformatics tutorial series. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Sable program to predict a protein secondary structure from its sequence, of course, amino acid sequence. Uh, to access the Sable uh, program we go to Google, write Sable, uh, for example uh, protein prediction and we hit enter. Uh, we click on the first hit, which is uh, sable.cchmc.org. Okay, this is uh, our uh, program. We passed uh, our amino acid sequence here. Uh, in the settings section, we can uh, select transmembrane domains to predict the transmembrane helices. Uh, in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to stick with the secondary structure. Okay. We click uh, on uh, submit uh, to view uh, our result uh, page. We click here. So uh, we have to wait uh, about uh, five or more uh, minutes uh, for our result page to appear. They say here that uh, our request uh, is uh, starting. Okay, so uh, we'll have to be a little patient. Okay, this is uh, our uh, result page. Uh, we can see here uh, this uh, section which is uh, the view settings. And uh, we can see here uh, our uh, sequence. And uh, the secondary structure. Uh, to make it uh, more uh, clear, we select here uh, the letter code for secondary structure. And we click update. Okay. Okay, we can see here uh, the letter code. Uh, the C stands for uh, cold coil regions. Uh, the H for uh, helices or alpha helices. The E is for uh, extended or uh, beta sheets. Okay, you can see our sequence here. And uh, uh, the single letter prediction is uh, in the second line. Okay, uh, this is all uh, for uh, today's uh, tutorial. Uh, if you want, uh, if you want more information about bioinformatics and bioinformatics tutorials, uh, you can uh, visit uh, my uh, blog at bioinformatics-made-easy.blogspot.com. Thank you for listening.